Hi, welcome to the Commercial Gas Engineer channel. Just going to go through a few bits in this video about um, what you find in the control panel. Um, please leave comments in the section below for things I may have missed or if you want to add further details. Okay, so in this control panel, before you go in, make sure you look for your safety map and so on and that you carry out safe working practices. Okay, so we have our incoming supply down here. Live one, live two, live three. You know there are at least two ways that you can check. You can check from face to face. So live one, live two, live two, live three, live one, live three. Or you can check from neutral to live one, neutral to live two, neutral to live three. And you have down here on the right, so the neutral here, and then not only that, you have the neutral bar over here. Over here we have the transformer, then next to the transformer we've got an MCB. Over here we have some OMROM relays, 220-240 VAC, um, MYIN. Up here we have our IO, DIM, digital input multiplexes. Um, the purpose of these is that they're intended to be used with BMS controllers to expand their input capacity by uh, multiplexing four or six digital signals so um, 24 so 46 24 VAC slash DC inputs into a single analog controller unit that's what these are for over here I'm not sure what this is for this unit here this trend unit but what I can see on it is an adjustment from zero to hundred percent and also um, the automatic hand and off symbol sometimes I've used that to bypass certain um, controllers once I know what they are feeding also before I continue remember to look out for numbers if you don't already know this forgive me if I'm telling you how to suck eggs um, if you know this but if you don't you may see that um, you have numbers on here and that numbers you can trace the numbers so if you see 20 here you can trace you can follow the numbers up to see where they go Okay, remember when you are tracing any wires to turn the power off and put gloves on, a good pair of rubber sole boots, um, ensure that the power is isolated, carry out safe isolation, um, lock off and then start pulling off these and then inspecting wires. Okay, over here we have an alarm in integrator and then we've got our MCBs here, miniature circuit breakers. Up here we have our contactors. And then over here we have some relays. 220 slash 240 VAs. So we've got the H3YN, the Omron. It's a um, compact multifunctional timer with um, a plug-in socket. Then up here we have more relays, we've got finder relays, and then more Omron relays. Some are 24 VAC, some are 220 slash 240 VAC. More relays. Our contactors. And then up here we've got manual motor starters. Our MCBs. This is the IQ3 expander module. So you have four universal inputs and four analog outputs. And then over here you have the Excite 8 do So it's also an um, IQ3 Excite um, expander module, eight relay outputs it has on it. So we've got eight relay outputs over here and then on the right hand side we have the four universal inputs and the four analog outputs. We have our non-illuminated switch, normal shaft. So you can see on this side, here's our switch. Some are two, two locations, some are three. So you have the two locations here, two, two switch, two options, and then one you have three here. 
and this is it on the other side so it's the DSS 22 and then we got our standard AD AD 22 230 volt LED indicator and that's it on the other side okay I hope that's helped you um, please do send comments of what I've missed or if you know any um, further details to some of these that I've missed out um, I'm gonna just continue checking my amps with my multimeter um, checking how much amps I have on different phases okay until next time bye bye bye